Hi guys and welcome back to Fallout 76 and today we're looking at another one of the tadpole challenges. We're going to look at archery. So I'm going to quickly run you through what is and is not involved and pretty much what you have to do. So the first thing I guess we're going to need is a crossbow if you have one that's great. And if not, you can construct one if you need to know where the plans are. I'll show you in just a second. So I guess we should start by crafting a crossbow and um, well, some bows. So you go to a weapons bench to craft a crossbow. Now I already have the plans and I have the materials, so I'm going to craft one. Craft it as low a level as possible. So I was going to go to 15. If you don't have the plans, go to the Pioneer Scout camp and work your way where I'm going. Pretty much stay as high as you can. So you can see roughly where I'm headed here on the map. I'm not going to drop down into the camp itself. And where I'm headed is actually the archery shooting range. So we will be revisiting this area when we're doing the target practice part of this, I guess. So here's the archery shooting range. Now it's not here for me, but right here in this spot is where the plans will be. They're quite a hot item right now as everyone is acquiring them. So if it's not there, just quit, reload back into a new server and check again. Or check out some people's um, machines and whatnot. A lot of people are selling those. So the first challenge that I tried, decided to complete there was by crafting some crossbow bolts. So you might need to farm around for some of those materials, but you will need to craft 50 bolts. Which I've just done. Which, okay, is kind of needed anyway, because we do need to kill 50 people. So let's have a look. Archer. So I've crafted the bolts. I need to kill 50 people with the crossbow. This is going to take you a bit of time. I hung out in low level um, areas, you know, in around the vault and worked my way down. Something you might want to be doing as well, if your enemy is not dying on the first hit, or if you're in close range, I should say, is actually melee them with the crossbow first and then kill them with the arrow. Because another part of this challenge is to damage your crossbow and repair it. And in order to, to speed that up a bit, it might help if you're using it in a melee style. There's my 50 kills now. That took me a little bit of time, but it's done. Now here's what I mean about melee. So if I start smacking people with my crossbow, it's gonna start being damaged much faster. And one of the things we need to do is we need to repair it three times. But in order to repair it, we first need to damage it. Now it does take damage over time from shooting bolts. Absolutely. But um, you do a bit more damage to it by using it as a melee weapon. This is right outside the power plant, uh, Poseidon energy plant. Um, there's the Grafton monster. Now what you could do here if you wanted, is just come in and hit him a few times until your bow takes damage. If you had taken Poseidon energy plant as a workshop, you can, um, you can cr build a, a weapon station there. Just run over, repair your crossbow, come back, keep beating him, go over, repair it. You could do it three times that way if you wanted. That's pretty fast as well. It would actually be my preferred method in retrospect. So to repair a crossbow, you go to your weapons workbench and you go to the crossbow itself and you go to examine and then repair. And that's pretty much it. Now you got to go out and damage it again and repair it again. Total, you need to do that a total of three times, which I've done. So that's fine. I'm not going to go out and show you how to repair it another two times. We can see here that I've got one on the list. You're just going to have to imagine that I do it two more times. And next we have right back where I showed you how to get to the crossbow plants and the archery course. We have to actually do, it's right there by the way, we have to do the archery shooting test thing. So to activate, you just push this button here. Yeah, so as you said, pretty much we have to hit bullseyes. Take your time with this. Make sure you brought a few arrows. I'm actually, I was a little nervous when I realized I needed to hit the bullseyes. And I've got 10 more, more arrows left to hit four. So I took my dead time with this. 
Um, you have like a minute 30, and it's only five targets. So be slow, be concise, and you'll get there. There's another miss from yours truly. Pop, and now we gotta get that one on the right. I thought this one might be the trickiest for me. It turns out not so much. Hoorah. And it's done. That's four of five. We are flying through Archer. Archer is relatively easy. It is time consuming going around killing everything and finding the materials to craft the, um, the actual bolts for the crossbow itself. But once you have that done, it's a piece of cake. And you can do it in stages. You, know, you can craft ten bolts, go out and kill ten, come back. Go out and kill 10 while you're gathering the resources for 10 more, or whatever you want. So next is the exam. The Pioneer Scout exam. So we're back in the exam room again. There's already some lucky, lucky, lucky person there ahead of us, or behind us, depending on when he's doing the exam, but he is certainly taking an exam. Don't know which one. So we're going to go to Tadpole exams, and we're going to go to Archery. Whoops. All right. Bad click on my part. We're going to go to Tadpole Exams and we're going to click on Archer. It's Archer. And now we go to Start Exam. Now, I had to Google a lot of this stuff, so if these questions come up for you, these are good answers. Uh, you're competing in a tournament, and the final shot, you land an arrow on the inner red ring. That's eight points. I believe. How many points the shot was? Yeah, it was eight. The bullseye was ten. An arrow is made out of four parts. Which is not one of them? I think we decided the shell. It was a shaft of fetching a knock. Yeah, the shell was not one of them. I don't know who that dude is. Crafting a crossbow at nearby weapons. Which component will you not need? You will not need a compressor. Because it's a bow, it's a string strong bow. <laughs> uh, you pull a bow string back, breathe, focus. You hit the bullseye. Bullseye is 10 points. Um, kind of gone backwards there, have I? Yeah. Kind of gone backwards there by accident. So yeah, we said compressor. Four was ten for the bullseye. Thirty hundred. So yeah, it was eight for the inner. I had to actually pull up a pull up a shooting target and look at all the different score zones. Google just didn't answer it outright for me. Bad search, I'm sure. And the fifth and final question. You hike through the woods, you spot your weird neighbor Jimmy blindly firing arrows into the sky. What should you do? You should find the nearest overhead cover and demand Jimmy to lay down his bow. Lay down your bow, Jimmy. And that's it, you're done. You've now done one of the three badges, challenges, that you need to complete the order of the tadpole. So hopefully this was some bit useful for you. If you've watched this and you have no idea what I'm doing or what the order of the tadpole is, check out the top right of your screen now. That's um, that's the quest itself, how you get it, where you started, and everything you need to know. So this is one of three you're going to need to do. I'll be doing lots and lots of different videos on all the different options you could choose. Um, so archery is just one of them. You could, um, you could choose hunter. You could choose athlete, you could choose a whole range of things. And I'm going to be doing them all to make your life just a little easier. So again, to repeat myself, hopefully you did find this video some bit useful. If you liked the video, please do hit that like button and like the video. While a small act to you, it means the world to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, consider a subscription. And until next time, take it easy. All the best.